Hey everyone, and welcome to this episode of Money Talks, The Silver Dollar. This is the third episode in my series, Money Talks. I'm going to put a link over there, and maybe also here, somewhere. You should go back and watch those if you haven't seen them. But today we're talking about the silver dollar. And I'm starting with the Eisenhower silver dollar. Eisenhower silver dollar. The obverse there, this is the bicentennial Eisenhower, so the obverse is a little bit different than you normally see. This is the first silver dollar I remember. I know that there were silver dollars prior to this, but as a kid, this was exciting because it was the biggest coin and it was worth a whole dollar. When I got a little bit older, they discontinued the Eisenhower silver dollar in favor of the Susan B. Anthony. The Susan B. Anthony, if you'll notice, is much smaller than the Eisenhower silver dollar. There's the back of it, just for the record. Now, it never really caught on, and I always thought it was odd that they did this difference in size. I mean, you reach in your pocket, you know that's a silver dollar. This thing is about the size of a quarter. Might have been one of the reasons it was so popular. So why was this decision made? There's a couple of theories. One, it was the first woman on a coin. You could make a claim that it was a misogynist decision. That they didn't want the coin with the woman on it to be successful. The other theory that I have is that the government no longer wanted silver dollars being used as casino chips. If you'll notice, they're very similar in size. I seem to recall as a small child going to the casino and seeing silver dollars actually on the felt in the casinos as I passed through. I could be wrong, but perhaps people also were using them in poker games. The silver dollar, the uh, Susan B. Anthony silver dollar only lasted a couple years. I think it was only produced um, three years, maybe two, 79, 80, maybe you guys can tell me, put it down there. Later on came the Sacagawea. Once again, another female on the silver dollar. This time they made the silver dollar gold color. So maybe they should call it the gold dollar. There's the back. It's a nice looking coin and maybe they thought having it gold colored would make it stand out from quarters a little better since they still kept the size rather small. The problem with the Sacagawea is it quickly goes from appearing gold to being very tarnished. Look at that. This isn't from particular abuse. This is just how quickly it tarnishes. So, you know, I don't even know how long they made the Sacagawea, but once again, its popularity was pretty low and as far as I know only used by the post office and BART which is the uh, barrier rapid transit system in San Francisco instead of tokens they used silver dollars in fact they still to do today with the latest in the series of silver dollars these are the silver dollars with all of the presidents this one's John Adams the back has the Statue of Liberty on it these are much shinier, a nice gold color. Once again, a good looking coin, but still too small. The US Mint decided to put these out, five presidents each year in the order that they were president, because of the popularity of the state quarters program. Now, one of the things that was controversial is on the edge here, and I don't know if this will show up on the camera, it says, in God we trust. That's being removed on future presidential silver dollar coins, or golden dollar coins, you might call them. Now, I have one question about that. <clears throat> I think they've continued the small size because these coins, they don't actually want to become popular in circulation. They want these to be collected. I'm not going to get into the economics of money making and coins, but it is to the government's interest to have a certain number of coins and currency that are not actually circulated that people just collect 
it is definitely encouraged. So the question is, I believe there is a law against putting a living person on a coin. So what happens in a few years when we get to Jimmy Carter? Now, he may not live that long. And what about, no, Ford died a few years ago. So uh, what about when we get to Clinton? So is that law still in effect? Have we suspended that law? Are we going to make an exception for the gold coin program? And why? Why don't they make the silver dollar like the Eisenhowers? Okay, maybe those were too big. Why don't they make them thicker like the British pound? You know something, you know, the gold color doesn't really help. It's something you can reach in your pocket and know, hey, this one is a dollar. This one's worth a little more. It would save us money in the long run because even though the metal in a coin might be worth more and cost more than printed paper dollars, the lifespan of a coin has to be much greater than the lifespan of a dollar. So that's all for Money Talks. This edition, Silver Dollars. Thanks for watching.